children? Do you remember Abram, whose name was changed to Abraham, and his wife Sarai, whose name was changed to Sarah, and their nephew Lot? Well, today's story will be about what happened next to that family. After Uncle Abraham had rescued Lot from the four kings, he went to live in the town of Sodom. Abram also went back to his home. His tent was next to a tree that we talked about last week. Do you remember what kind of tree we said it was? It was a terebinth tree. Abraham was standing there by that big tree when he saw three men coming toward him. Abraham was amazed because he recognized who these men were. Two of the beings were messengers of Yahweh, and the third one was Yahweh himself. Abraham humbly asked them if Yahweh was pleased with him and to not pass by but to stay a while. The three men knew that Abraham was righteous, so they stayed for dinner. As a good host, Abraham provided them with water to wash their feet. He also brought them bread, milk, meat and curds to eat. The man who was Yahweh sent the two messengers to go check on what was going on in Sodom. Yahweh stayed behind with Abraham and told him that he was sad about how badly the people in Sodom and Gomorrah were behaving. He said that he was planning to punish them all. Abraham wanted to know why Yahweh would destroy everyone, if not everyone was bad. What if there were fifty good people left in the city? Yahweh promised he would not destroy it if fifty people could be found. Abraham then asked Yahweh to please not destroy the city if there were forty-five good people. Yahweh promised he wouldn't do it if there were forty-five. Abraham kept asking, what if there were forty, thirty, twenty, or even ten? Yahweh kindly listened to Abraham and said he wouldn't, even if there were only ten good people. Meanwhile, in Sodom, the people just kept doing bad. The only good people the messengers found were Lot and his family, and that was only four people. Lot welcomed the messengers and gave them water to wash their feet. Then he gave them a feast and unleavened bread to eat. After dinner, the messengers told Lot that he and his wife and daughters had to leave town right away so that they wouldn't get punished with all the other people. Lot was afraid and he asked the messengers not to make him run too far away. The messengers agreed but said that Lot's whole family had to promise that none of them would look back at the city when they ran away. They grabbed Lot's hand his wife's hand and his two daughters' hands and pulled them out of the city as fast as they could run. Immediately, Yahweh sent fire and sulfur to rain down on the city and everything caught on fire. Lot and his family were safely escaping, but Lot's wife didn't do as she was told. She turned around to look at the city one more time and... Oh no, as soon as she looked back, she turned into a pillar of salt. Sadly, not everyone wanted to obey and keep Yahweh's rules. It's just as we read a few weeks ago in the story of Noah. Yahweh kept his promise not to destroy the whole earth again with a flood. And this time, he took care of the handful of good people left in Sodom even if that was only Lot and his family. Yahweh always keeps his promises and he always takes care of his people. Do you remember the sign that Yahweh gave to never destroy the whole earth again? That's right, it was a rainbow. Well, children, we have come to the end of our story for today. So we will see you next time for another exciting Torah portion.
Shalom.